Tomas again, and I am back to do our phonics online teaching. And this week, we are going to be focusing on chart number 41. For chart number 41, we are going to be learning one new sound with three different patterns. So, all of these patterns are going to make the ooh sound. And the first one is UI, and UI makes the ooh sound in the middle of the word, as in fruit. Ooh, as in fruit. When I snap, you're going to tone the sound. Ooh, as in fruit. Great. Like always, I am going to put our sounds up here for us to reference. Our next one is UE, and UE makes the ooh sound in the end of a word. So ooh as in blue. When I snap you tell me the sound, ooh as in blue. Great. We next have our U silent E and it makes the Ooh sound as an ice cube. Ooh as an ice cube. When I snap, you tell me the sound. As in. Great. And this week, we do have some new look and say words. And remember, the first time we look at the look and say words, you are just listening. And the second time, you say them with me. Here we go. Head. Eyes. Almost. Your turn. Head. Eyes. Almost. Good job. Today we are not going to be building new words, so make sure you pay attention to the end of the video so that you know what words you need to practice with at home. So we are going to now move on to our chart. While we do our chart, we are going to do all of our three routines. So the first one is the sound and same words. So when I tap the underlined sound, you are going to say the sound, and then when I slide, you're going to say the word. Ready? Watch me do the first one. E, tree. Good. Your turn. E, tree. Ooh, blue. E, deer. Ooh, use E, scream E, treat Ooh, clue R, hard Ooh, cute E, deer, E, feet, U, fruit, E, bee, U, suit, E, between, E, ear. Good job. Now we're going to do our look and say word. When I tap, you say both, friend, live, eyes, almost, door, 
head, go, sun, eyes, most, want, head, kind, o'clock, almost. Good. Now we're going to go on and read our groups. First, we're going to do the word, and then we're going to do the next word. So, ready? Can not. Okay. Now your turn. Good. Next. Did not. Did it. I will. Out. It is its. We are where let us let's. I am. I'm. She is she's. He would he. We have we. All right, we are now going to move on to our partner practice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be focusing on our cafe strategy of fluency. And for fluency, we are going to be paying attention to our punctuation. So making sure that we're noticing what type of punctuation we have at the end of the sentence and how our voice needs to change to match that punctuation. Okay, so for this week, we are going to be using part of practice number 41. And before we practice our story and our cafe strategy, we are going to read these words first. So when I tap, you say, B, taping, head, faces, pickle, bright, bark, hops, no, what, white, almost, while, break, here, fat, keep, eyes, tapping, peanut, picnic, show, want, dark, why, barn, brushes, because, Hopes, clean, bank, blue. All right, so now we are going to move on to our story. And in our story, we have different punctuations that we are going to be seeing for this week. So for this week, so I want you to think about what are some of the punctuation marks that you see in this story? Go ahead and tell me what kind of punctuation marks you see when I snap. see some question marks, periods, commas, quotation marks. Okay, so while we are reading, we have to make sure that we are paying attention to those punctuation marks so that we can stop, take a breath, or change our voice to match our uh, punctuation. So we know that whenever we see quotation marks, that means that someone is talking. Here we go. I'm going to read it first. What are you reading? Asked Pete. I'm reading a mystery, said Steve. I want you to notice how I read this sentence. What's it about? Huh. Did that sound like the correct punctuation that I'm supposed to use? No, I was using more of like an exclamation point. So let me read it out again. 
What's it about? Does that sound like a question now? Yes, asked Pete. The queen's gold coins are missing. I see a comma, so I'm gonna take a pause, said Steve. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm on the last page of the book. I have the clues. I almost know who did it. I read that book last week, said Pete. Please don't tell me the end. Here you see an exclamation point. Screamed Steve. Got it, said Pete. I should not tell you that the maid stole the coins and hid them in the tree. Thanks, Pete, sighed Steve. All right, so now it is your turn. Here we go. All right, so now that we have read our partner practice, I am going to leave it still for a couple seconds for you to screenshot it, look at it, practice it again. And then I'm going to share with you our sound and say words for this week that include our sound of the week and our patterns and our look and say words for the week. So make sure that you are practicing these words at home. All right, I will see you all next week. Bye.